So today, um, we're going to talk about something that's one of our favorite things about Racine. Yeah, parks. Yeah, there's a ton of green space in Racine, for yeah. sure. Um, and green space is great. And in fact, where we live, um, SC Johnson, anytime a house goes up for sale opposite that, like across the street from the downtown location, they buy that house, tear it down and turn it into green space. Because most of the houses, let's admit it, they're pretty old. They're, they were built in the 1900s. Yes. They, yes. Yeah. And so they're not doing it to be mean, but it is a security measure for them. Um, it and also creates a nice corridor. It really does. There, you know, up that part of 16th Street. And 14th. And 14th. Yes. You know, you, you can cycle along there or mm -hmm. walk along there. And it's nice to have that buffer of green space on yep. one side. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, well, on good. two sides of S.C. Johnson. Yeah. They're never going to be able to do it on the west side because those are really historic buildings, the firehouse yeah. and stuff. But that's OK. That's no big deal. That's like at the end of their parking lot. Anyway, I yeah. don't think they care about that. They just like to have that green space around them. But Racine has a ton of green space. It does. It's, it's like it's every time you turn around, yeah. every time you turn around, there seems to be another space that is a park. Like. Yeah. Uh, here we go. You have another yeah. park popping up. So today we are going to talk about our top five parks. Although I will say I'm very surprised there is one park on here that I'm surprised or that isn't on this list. And I was really surprised that it didn't make the list because it's actually one of our favorites. But it's not what you consider one of the top five parks. Which one's that? Ah, maybe I'll have to tell you. Maybe a it's not a city park. It is. it is. It absolutely is. is it it okay. absolutely is. But we'll talk about that later. Um, yeah. But let's talk about like the park. So first of all, in Racine, we have over 1,100 acres of official park space. Park space yeah. So uh, 1,100 acres in our small city. And that just counts the city because in areas yeah. that are part of what people would count the city, there are also county parks. Now, we don't have any state parks in Racine or even in Racine County that I'm aware of. The closest state park is in Kenosha County. That's Bong. Yeah. But in the city of Racine, we have 1,100 acres of just city park or city park managed spaces uh -huh. and then there are additional spaces that are county managed as well and then you also have parks in caledonia and mount pleasant so this is literally mm -hmm. what we're going to talk about today is literally just what the city of racine manages yeah we're not even talking about other stuff for sturdivant and mount pleasant and caledonia and mm -hmm. franksville and you know all of yeah, those different areas that surround us five in racine city in the city of racine absolutely yeah. so there are five community centers yeah. um which the community centers aren't really necessarily they are part of the parks department but they're not i don't think we have any of those on our top five list do we no. But like near us, we got the John Bryant Center, which is over on the south side of Racine here. Um, it's where I go to vote. I don't know if you knew that, that that was where I went yeah. to vote was the John Bryant Center. But that's one of the community centers. But there are five of them across Racine, which is, quite frankly, plenty of them. Yeah. Um, and the parks have all sorts of different amenities. Yep. And some of them will have facilities like tennis courts, ball fields and football, basketball courts. Football, soccer baseball tennis yeah. courts um pavilions uh some of them have restrooms some of them do not of course you've always got not always but you often and most of them have playground equipment um yeah places to run um, places to walk so from a technical point of view though what i found really interesting was that officially dogs are not allowed in racine county or racine city parks but on an that's an official level yeah. Because I've not been to any park where there aren't dogs. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I mean, yeah. the only one is is River Bend, that nature center. But that's yeah. because that's more about canoeing and and hiking trails than anything else. Uh -huh. It's not really about. They don't want people treading in. 
Right. So it's more about that's more about biking trails, hiking trails and canoeing yeah. from that particular one. Mm-hmm. So I understand why that one has it posted. This is not allowed. But there's certain trails. But I've Bones never seen it posted. You're not to take yeah, but I've well. never seen it posted by Kerhogel or by South Beach or any of these. In yeah. fact, at South Beach, people let their dogs run free and run into the water. Oh, we used to swim out. We used to swim out. Yeah. We I didn't even know that this was technically not allowed because everybody I mean. You're supposed to have your dog on a leash in Racine. That's definite. However, the practicality of it is on that South Beach type area that like it's Uh not technically South Beach. I can't remember what the name of it is, but that beach off of the cove there, very long, deep, shallow beach. um, There are dogs there all the time off leash that people are throwing toys into the water and like like training their dogs like i mean like hunting dogs that mm-hmm. are trained to go into the water and retrieve it's a great place to train your dog because it's shallow yeah. if your dog gets well you've gets... got the shallow water but you've also the other side the other side of the beach you've got tall grass yes so you can throw a decoy in there yes and... it would be a great place to to work your dog yeah. if you have a hunting dog yeah um because of the fact and the reality is people bring their dogs there all the time and they uh-huh. swim in the beach they swim in the water there so yeah. um so i found it shocking that technically they're not supposed to so oh well yeah. we didn't know but we there weren't actually no at the signs beach, from the water end yeah there's no signs from the water that's true so but there's uh and i'm sure that one of the reasons is they don't want dog mess and things yeah. but if people are responsible and pick if up after their, pick dogs, after their dogs then it's really not a problem so yeah, it makes it easier for yeah. everyone else now let's talk about and so there are various there are over 80 parks so 1100 acres but there are over 80 parks in racine yeah that shows you how many parks we have yeah that's a you ton know. Now, they're not all big parks. Some of them are like neighborhood parks. So you realize that if there's 80 parks, that means there is one per every thousand people. There's a park for every thousand people. Wow. Yeah. Because we have about 80,000 people in yeah. Racine. And actually, it's a little less than 80,000, but that's a rough number. Uh-huh. If we have 80 parks, we have a park for every 1,000 per capita, basically. Yeah. One per one per thousand is our ratio there. So that's kind of cool. Um, you want to talk about the types of parks that we have? Yeah. So as I was saying, the neighborhood park, that's a small park, but in a neighborhood. So surrounded by a neighborhood, we have one just a couple of blocks away from us. Well, we have two that are a couple blocks away, True. actually. Yeah. We have the one that's behind us, that's south of us, and we have one that's east of us. Yeah. Both of them within about two to three blocks. Actually, yeah. that one's two blocks. It's off of 18th, technically. That, and they're a smaller park. Generally, they have playground equipment there. Benches um, sometimes. Yeah, benches. So sometimes they're, picnic they're tables. They're actually designed to serve the community. Yeah. Then you have community parks. Yes. They're larger than neighborhood parks designed to serve several neighborhoods. So, yeah. So they would typically have playground equipment, sport infrastructure, and shelters. Right. So, And those so, are like the pavilions that can be rented. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to have your kid's birthday party in a park... They're uh-huh. fairly inexpensive. So, yeah, there's like you can rent them. I don't know what the current rental price is. The last time I saw a rental price, though, it was like for the day because you rent it for the whole day. When yeah. you rent a pavilion, you get it for the whole day. It's like um, and the parks are usually open from eight till ten. I mean, eight to in the morning to like ten at night. Uh-huh. Um, if you want to have I do know this, that if you want to have music, you have to get a secondary permit to play music and say what kind of music is it like are you just doing dj are you having like a live band are you doing dj are you just using you know a speaker for your party your birthday party if you're using their electric right because some of them don't have electric yeah yeah some of the pavilions don't have electric so you can't count on that so yeah but they are very cool like if your kid is under the age of eight I mean, it's a very cool place to go have a part to go have a birthday party yeah. because you can just put the kit. You bring your own catering, bring hot dogs, bring hamburgers. Yeah. Kids are happy with hot dogs, hamburgers, chips, soda, you know, yep. some candy, some cake. They're good. Throw up some have streamers a full of drinks. And, yep. And, and have know, a great day at the park. Have a and, barbie. and to be honest, in Racine, you can use our parks. Not I wouldn't say year round, but a lot of our parks are very accessible most years from the beginning of april to the end of october so if your kid has a birthday that falls in those dates um you can usually you know do really Mm -hmm. cool things you can do little you know fun themed things at the pavilions and and there's also like playground equipment or if you just wanted to bring 
um, you know, balls and bats and hit balls around or something like that. Yeah. There's loads of space around the pavilions to be able to set up games. So have a game um, of baseball. Yeah, or have like a badminton or put up a volleyball net, a temporary yeah. volleyball net or something like that on the green space yeah. that surrounds it. So um, so that's what a community park is. And yeah. what's a passive park? So you got passive parks, but these are these really small parks. Yeah, they're like postage that stamp. Basically, have no amenities. They're really what we would call just basic green space in a way. Yeah, there may be a picnic table or two, but that's or a it. bench. Yeah, might be a bench, might be a picnic table. Um, uh -huh. one of the passive parks around us, I think this would be considered a passive park, is that strip along Main Street that's owned by the city. Yeah. So. From Main Street, from 16th Street to 14th Street is a one-way street. And on the lakeside, lakefront, that, it, that is owned by the city. It is part of the Parks Department. Uh -huh. And there's, like, benches of yeah, space down benches, there. So and so you can, you can sit, sit and just look out at the lake and enjoy yeah. the beauty of the lake. And it's got a steep hill that goes down. A lot of people, again, run their dogs down there. Uh -huh. um, and at the bottom is that pathway that's part of the um, the pathway system in, yeah. in Racine and Wisconsin in general, um, the Lake Michigan pathway. But there's like that dirt path down at the bottom and people will run their dogs down so there sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, you can so. walk along the lake shore. Mm -hmm. and, Again, know. I'd like to reiterate that officially you have to have your dog on a leash <laughs> in the city of Racine. So, yes. But unofficially, lots of people run their dogs there. Well, you actually <laughs> caught one the other day. Um all of a sudden, oh, a scream come up okay. the hill, and it was okay, like well, that two was, young girls. They were looking for their dog. Well, yeah. that was not. They were actually on a leash. So, but yeah, their dog slipped, slipped the their leash, yeah. the dog slipped the collar. But the dog was yeah. super friendly and was like, "Oh, hey, you're a friendly face. Come to me. Come to me." We were out biking that day. Yeah. That was a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. Um, we were out on our bikes, and just as we came up to where we were going to stop anyway and sit at one of those benches, just before that. Um, all of a sudden there's this random dog and I'm like, that dog looks like it's, that dog doesn't look like it shouldn't have a collar. Uh -huh. And then we heard somebody like yelling. Have you seen a dog? Have you seen a dog? <laughs> well, yes, we have. He's right here. Really <laughs> cute dog though. Uh -huh. Really friendly. But yeah. they had slipped off their leash. They were actually on a leash. It's just, uh -huh. they had slipped the collar, right? You know how dog, yeah. Bobby does that sometimes where he'll just duck his head and tuck his chin and whoop, off the collar comes because yeah. well, certain breeds got, don't have necks. He hasn't got much of a neck. Well, so. that's the thing. Certain yeah. breeds just don't have a lot of neck and that's yeah. definitely him. So you've got passive parks, which basically at best, all they have is just benches. And gardens. Sometimes. And garden space. Yeah. yeah. It's like sometimes something beautiful. It's usually something beautiful to look at. Yes. That's that's honestly it's so usually the lake, the lake. Right, you have the lake or you have the river or yeah. something like that or a garden that's been set up, a community garden or something. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking at and that's what the the passivity of it is that it's a beautiful view. Okay. Back to All right, so we've got neighborhood parks, community parks, passive parks, and then we have mini parks. Mini parks. Mini parks. And mini parks So what's a mini park? Well, they're basically on a small piece of land and they might have a picnic table and maybe a grill, but there's really not space for recreational activities. So you really can't do any running or biking. You might be able to throw a baseball back and forth between two people or a Frisbee back right. and forth between two people, but they're very small. Well, in Racine, we refer to them actually as pocket parks. So like Carrie Hogel. Like Carrie Hogel. Mm -hmm. Like Carrie Hogel at the end of... Um, at the end of Main Street, be, like at the end of what is it, like 17th, basically, yeah. but like the 1700 block of Main Street. But you just you have to go down 16th and then turn right instead of yeah. that's another because you can't get to right. And at the right, bottom right. there, there's this really irregular shaped park. It's got some nice green space. It's got trees, uh -huh. so you can't really even throw a football around. Like I said, you might be able to throw a frisbee back and forth, but yeah, you can't set up a volleyball net because there's just not room. And it's we've not... actually gone swimming down there. Haven't yes, we? we've gone swimming down there in past years. The shoreline has changed. So yeah. it's not really a safe place for swimming anymore. But yes, years ago, it was a great place to go uh -huh. swimming. But you've got a lot of mini parks like that. Even yeah. the one up here on Grand, I think of that more as a mini park because literally all it has is it's like the space of two lots. It's like a double lot, yeah. maybe three lots technically, but it's like three city lots kind of clumped together but and it has swings it's got playground equipment it is yeah a it's, neighborhood park it's probably considered whatever. a neighborhood park but yeah. it's i can see why it would be called a pocket park or a mini park too because mm -hmm. it doesn't have much of anything beyond that it has a yeah. bench and a bus stop and 
<laughs> that's about yeah. it. It's on grand. So, so that's what it is. Um, now there are, um, there are top five parks. Now, top five, I think we, what we should say about this is these are the top five in size, not necessarily where it is necessarily the most fun. Well, it's not even in size because I took one out because it has no amenities. Well, that one's that one's large, but yeah. you're right. It had no it has no bathroom and that is so Colonial Park, which is what you're talking yeah. about, you took out because even though it's 73 acres and it runs alongside the river, it's great for fishing and walking, but it has no amenities as far as like yeah, there's, there's no, no toilets, restrooms. there's no restrooms, there's no pavilions, there's no ball fields, there's no, no none of that as well. So uh -huh. it is literally just for walking and um fishing, fishing. so yeah. that's really the only function it has is for people to have a nice beautiful place uh -huh. to walk so um so but it is 73 acres so that is pretty yeah. big but let's talk about our top five and let's see here putting these in order I, i'm gonna say this one right here is number five we're gonna say purging park is number five okay and i would say the reason for that is because it's just a skateboard park and BMX yeah, bikes. I mean, there is some park area as well, like green space. That's actually across the street, across technically. The street. It's really more lakefront. Looks, yeah. That's really more handled the by lake. the Lake Michigan people. But it's um, mainly for the skateboarders. It's cool. I mean, it's BMX. a really cool place. It's right. So to get to the Pershing Park, you have to go down either 11th Street and you go all the way down 11th Street um, east to the lake or 6th Street. You go all the way down and you would loop um, right if you're going down 6th Street or you'd loop left if you're going down uh, 11th. 11th yeah. um, and you get down there and it's very obvious. It's on the other side of Gateway Technical College. Yeah. Um, so I think that might be one of the reasons for the location because there are people there who go to college who also hang out and have fun at the skate park. Uh -huh. So it's kind of nice to have a skate park. It's it, There is no supervision there. You have to bring your own safety equipment. There's yeah. nobody there watching over you. You you do. Um, you are not allowed to bring your own ramps and your own box. You no, cannot no. create what has been created. There is all that you're allowed to use. You cannot also create your own um, hazards or ramps or jumps and yeah. things like that. But it's quite extensive. What is there? And that actually does have a gate around it because it closes at 10 o'clock at night it does close and it yeah. absolutely and closes it's, it's to fenced stop in. people like graffiti in and well it's i think it's like also that. to stop like um not having any like drugs and things happening yeah. in that area because that could happen for yeah. sure in that downtown area they, but yeah, they don't want that no we don't want that but it's eighteen thousand square feet yep uh, it's got various ramps a street course and a beginner's area so yeah. it's got anything for anybody who's into bmx biking and skateboards and yeah. stuff like that is a great place to go and get some practice yeah in. you're not actually allowed on it if you're not on a skateboard yeah, it, or a bmx that's bike. true now i do think that if you were filming somebody who's on there and you're doing filming of them you probably from could the side, maybe, yeah from yeah. the side or from the top of the ramp or something yeah. you know you could but you're not allowed to just hang out in there if you're not engaged in that or in filming mm -hmm. somebody doing a trick or a jump or something like that so yeah so that's that is i would say that's number five on yeah, our list number five number five it's specialized list. as to who's going to use that facility yep, absolutely number four on our list would be lincoln park um, and that's over on Dominic Drive. It's got yeah, it's 25 great acres. Park. Great park. 25 acres. Got a baseball diamond. Yeah. Playground equipment. Um, there's a football field. Yep. Of course, there's restrooms. restrooms picnic has a picnic area. area. Has pavilions to rent. Yeah. Um, there's canoe a canoe launch. launch there. Yep. And the reason I go there fairly a lot is fishing. Yes. Because you can fish there. Yeah. And, but it still is only four. It's still only number four on the list. Because yeah, and it, and it also has... The steelhead facility there. So yes. they have an open day there a couple of times a year. Yes. Where they open it up and let you see how well, why they, don't you why don't you talk they... to people about what steelhead is? Because some people don't even know what that phrase yeah. means. Okay, so a steelhead is what we call rainbow trout. Um, but that's their other name is steelhead. So they actually um during two seasons of the year they take the fish out, there's a ladder there a fish ladder, and so they catch the fish, they remove the eggs from the fish. Mm -hmm. They harvest eggs for yeah, the DNR. they harvest the eggs and the sperm, and they um, 
breed new life. So. Yeah, they breed new salmon. Yeah. They they grow salmon. Or trout. Or trout, rather. Sorry, trout, yeah, not salmon. so they actually do the breeding program there. Mm -hmm. So they harvest I know that the schools and... go to visit the steelhead yeah, facility yeah. on a regular thing. So even though there are a few open days, if your kid's in school in Racine, they're likely going to go to the steelhead facility in elementary at some point. Yeah, they're only harvesting a couple of times a year, though, for about yeah. a week. But they go, there's an education yeah. center there as well yeah, that there's... they do for the kids. So yeah. that's kind of cool because the rainbow trout are um, a really good part of our ecology here. They are. And there's a great big dam there right now, but... The dam the further up is being removed. Yes, so that the dam, could change. That could change the yeah. how this, how every. We're expecting some big changes in our river flowage and things because of yeah. it. But that's the Lincoln Park at Dominic Drive, um, and you've got the the Steelhead facility there. You do have some woodlands as well. Yeah, there's woodlands as well. Yep, absolutely. So that's number four on our list, and number five, uh, number three. Sorry. Yeah. We're working our way up. Number three on our list is. Island Park. Island Park. Now, you love like Island Park. 21 acres. Yep. It and is, it's an island. And it's ADA accessible as well. Yes, but is it really is good. an island. Yeah. It actually is. The Root River splits at one point, wraps around this piece of land, yep. and then joins and back then up. joins back up. Now, so. obviously, there's a bridge. Otherwise, it wouldn't be yeah. ADA accessible. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> but, but it's a great area to fish from. I yes. fish there a lot. Loads of people There's fish a from lot Island of shallow Park. Shallow rivers there where you can actually go wading into the river. Yeah, because when the river splits to go around yeah. this island, it it's actually is because these banks. Yeah, it actually becomes a bit shallow there because yeah, yeah. and then when it joins back up it gets deeper again. Uh -huh. And and on the other side of Island Park, we've taken our boat almost up to Island Park. Yeah. Well, technically, it has it is Island Park where we've taken the boat yeah. up to previously, mm -hmm. but one time we really like we hit a rock and we scraped bottom and that yeah. was not good. We didn't go up that high ever again, yeah. but we did it once. It was mm -hmm. good. Not a not a canoe, not a kayak, but there is a canoe launch there. There is a canoe launch, and there's a lot of people that kayak from there. Yeah, they kayak up and down the river they and they clubs start there. In Racine, that go kayaking. But they start uh, there though. They start uh, at Island Park because yeah, it's really a few accessible. Of the, uh, kayakers like do fishing as well yes they fish from their kayaks exactly yeah. yep so if you like water sports like if you would like to do some paddle boarding or some kayaking or yeah. things on the it's river a great area to that, do that is a great place to launch from because yeah. the water is not super crazy fast and swift no um it's, and it, you've got shallow areas to help correct. you get on and off your board correct exactly so, so that's what makes that really great really good mm -hmm. there's also it's a couple of ballparks there so they've got two oh yeah Lake it's got a playground. It's got playgrounds. It's got ballparks. It still is a good sized park and still yeah. has plenty of space. And you got the restrooms, pavilion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a great, a great number three. Yep. So number two on our list. Number two is got to be North Beach. Yeah, North Beach. So North Beach is like the official swimming area for Racine. Yeah. Um, it's also where on July fourth. Um, right off the breakwater that 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 is on the side of North yeah. Beach, that if you want to see the fireworks really really beautifully, then you want to be on North Beach. That's a great place yeah, to view North the fireworks Beach. every year. We've actually done it from the lake at yes. North Beach. We yes. sat out there in our boat with a picnic in the boat. Yep. And watched the fireworks. <laughs> yep. But we were on North yes. Beach. We were just yeah. on the outs. We were on the water side of yeah. North Beach, outside fantastic. the swimming really outside good. the swimming area. Yeah. We were on that side, and then of course you've got the swimming area. We um, anchored up there yep. along with a load of other boats. So the only things we have to say is you are you if you swim there you swim at your own risk. Yes. Um. There is a lifeguard there between June and August generally, but it yeah. is not a guarantee that there will be a lifeguard there. Like they don't close the beach just because there's no lifeguard. Uh huh. So the beach is still open. They normally have one there till 6 p.m. And but, I was going to say, yeah. and even if they do have a lifeguard there, they stop at 6 p.m. Yeah. They work from 10 till 6 and that's it. That's uh -huh. a, that's their day. Yeah. So, but the beach is still open. Um, you know, to go swimming for the, you can yeah. continue swimming and stay there. You don't have to have a lifeguard in order to continue swimming. But the beauty now, is they've got free park in there. So you can take yes. your car. Yep. You've got volleyball there. Yep. Um, they have a concession like stand that's the acres of beach. Yeah. There. They've, and they've got a concession stand that again is open till six uh -huh. o'clock, same time as the, um, lifeguards. And I didn't know this. 
What's Did that? you know they have bathrooms there, bathhouse? A bathhouse. Yeah. Well, that's for changing. Because yeah. if you if you arrive and you're not in your swimsuit, you can you... have a bath. No, it's not. That's not what a bathhouse is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not for having a bath. Uh, uh, I know you're disappointed, but why would you need a bath when you're about to get in Lake Michigan? But a bathhouse is basically that whole changing. To wash all that sand off. Yeah, it's to wash there. It's showers <laughs> to wash off the sand. Yeah. That's what it is. It's for it's for before or after. So if you need to change yeah. into your swim trunks and or your swimsuit, you can go in and use the restroom and ha and have a changing but area. Then again, the restrooms are only open during the beach season, and the ba the restrooms and bathhouses only open from June to August. Yeah. So, but the actual beach itself is not. They don't encourage people to swim after August, not just because of the temperature because the temperature is still pretty good right now in the water but yeah. also just because of the safety because there's nobody there in mm -hmm. in september which it is right now but the beach is also ada uh, accessible, accessible. They yes. have, uh, we have a huge we have a huge section of, yeah. of mats that are laid out well it's not they're like permanent mats they're yeah. like screwed together kind so of things. The wheelchairs can so go wheelchairs on. can go on and in, into a certain section it's also andy for people with kids so if they want to take their Prams and that. Yes, for if you want to if you want to run your stroller through it and yeah. not have to carry your stroller the whole way, yes, you can run your stroller down the the, the mats, mats, and then when you get to the end, if you want to spread out further away from the uh -huh. um, from the thing and have a really beach beach experience, yeah. at least you're not having to use the stroller the whole. Like you're not, you can just pick up the stroller and take it the rest of the way. And they you do have to. a kids area as well. The kids yeah. cove, or yeah. and not even just strollers. What if you're just going out and you have one of those. Uh, trolleys like we do one yeah, of those yeah. one of those um well you pull along you know a modern know. wagon basically yeah, a modern yeah. kids wagon the ones that have the fabric they fold up and so like we use that all the time when we go all out all the time yeah because yeah, we put our picnic you basket put in there your chairs in there yep you can put your beach chairs in there your picnic baskets your towels Cooler and then bag. yep and then you just you know roll it out to the beach yeah. and that's really really nice so that ada area makes it a lot easier, a lot easier to get yeah. your stuff to the beach which they is had awesome. that in san diego as well the big mat yeah but they? we're not in san diego no, so who cares not. we're in racine yeah and that's even better all right so there's sand volleyball we talked about the picnic area there's also a kids cove area which yes. is like a little playing area for the kids uh -huh. that's really like kind of just stuff for them and yes. Uh, very shallow, and very port calm. And potties there as well. Yes, they put porta potties in that section because kids don't always want to run all the way back up to the oh, bathhouse. No, and it's normally at the last minute they decide they want yeah. to go. Because you guys yeah. know if you have kids, that's what happens. Your kids all of a sudden. They get all excited. They get all excited. They're in the water and all of a sudden they're like, Mom, I got to pee. And the bathhouse is all the way next to the... The bathhouse and the amenities are it's right next to the, the park, park. Is right yeah. next to the parking lot. So if you're all the way down at the beachfront part, which is... I mean, it's not a half a mile, but for a kid yeah. who needs to go to the bathroom, You're not picking up your kid and carrying them all the way back. No, to the so park. those porta potties in the kids' coat. No, be. no, <laughs> and so those porta potties are really, really nice for those parents yes. that need them, like that emergency thing. So, yeah. so that's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. And it is like you said, it's twenty five hundred feet of shoreline, yeah. and it covers fifty acres. Now, yeah. there's part of it that's swimmable, and that's the part we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. But there's also a huge section that goes all. It runs the whole whole lakefront all the way up to the zoo yeah which is great for like walking area mm -hmm. or just sitting and contemplating i mean yeah um that's a section that we used to clean every year at our previous brokerage and we yeah. used to walk up that section and we do a beach cleanup day at the end of the season um uh -huh. because inevitably because of july 4th you had a lot of bottle rockets they're technically illegal but hey you know what everybody does, still does them yeah um and you got a lot of bottle rocket remnants you've got caps from um water soda bottles bombs. from soda bottles and water bottles and gatorade bottles and golf balls. golf balls and yeah all sorts of stuff that we would find sometimes yeah. lots um, of flotsam and jetsam yeah we're not talking about the, the more beach. unsavory parts that no, we found the unsavory stuff we found as yes well, we'll yeah. just leave some of that be it yeah there's very there uh, let's put it this way some of the unsavory stuff there's clearly romantic encounters um yeah. on, on the beach on that Happening section on the beach yep um so you know, my favorite drink, sex on the beach, you know, or one of my favorites, <laughs> my favorite drink, not the, anyway, the point is, <laughs> um, it is a very long beach. It is 2,500 
feet of a shoreline that it yeah. covers completely. So it's a really long beach. And when you get up further, it's not really very swimmable because they don't maintain that for swimming purposes. But it's no, still beautiful. Some pylons in the water but it's still like that. it's still beautiful to walk up there. It it's still beautiful. You can walk in the water, like walk on yeah. the edge of the water, which is really, really nice as well. And it's more peaceful up at the north end of North Beach because there's not all the kids and Yeah, there's no crowds. Right. There's no crowds and stuff. So People will sometimes walk up there. Mm -hmm. Again, I've seen dogs there before. Dogs not technically allowed, but like I said, that's what happens. Yeah. So that is number two. Now, let me talk about the one before we get to number one. Uh -huh. Before we get to our number one park for Racine. Let me talk about the one that didn't make the list. And I don't know why. Why, Russ? Why did why did N.O. and Davies not make the list with the dog park and everything? Well, it's a nice park, and we helped do that up. Yes. Fix it all up, but I just felt these were better. But that's a great park, and it's one of the two in Racine dog parks where mm. you can legally run your dogs, run your dogs because yeah. it's gated areas, one for big dogs and, and one for little nice, dogs. That is a nice park, and it has the allotments there as well. Where sure. Where people can grow. Which are community bed. gardens for you yeah. Americans. In England, they call them allotments. Yeah. <laughs> so they're a great space. Um, you know, people grow stuff there. and Yeah, generally speaking, but it's a great park. Can... Now, I don't think that one has amenities, so maybe the reason that one didn't make the list is, again, there because are it no doesn't... Amenities. There's a shed there for the... Um, for the potting stuff, potting but yeah. Stuff, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. there's and no there's toilets the or anything. Area. There's a bubbler there for the dogs. Yeah, that's really and, cool. And so that is our bonus well. extra, is N. Owen Davies, which is on the corner of West Boulevard and 16th Street, if you yeah. want to do the dog part part and then the other is like at about 18th and west boulevard if you want to do the community garden section of it so yeah. it's like about it's about four blocks long four uh -huh. or five blocks long yeah, all along west boulevard green mm -hmm. space yeah but yep. there was no facilities other than so that. that's why it didn't make yeah, the cut that's okay that's fair enough cut. that's fair enough but let us talk about our number one park for racine at least yep. this is my favorite. And we actually touched on this park um, a few weeks ago when we did our Manry Park neighborhood thing. Yes. Because we did. this is over by Manry Park. Yeah. And that it's is Lockwood Park. Lockwood Park. So Lockwood so it's Park. On Graceland uh, Boulevard. Okay. Except uh, for that, a lot of people don't realize about Graceland Boulevard because yeah, when you know. drive along Ohio, it's right there on your left or right, whichever. If you've on the, ever on the driven east side. along Ohio in Racine yep. and you've seen people skiing or sledging down well, a not hill, skiing. <laughs> I've seen people on skis They're probably, down the slope. Really? Yes, yeah, skiing down wow. the slope. They're not supposed to, but anyway. That Again. is Lockwood Park. Yes, but that is just the tip edge of Lockwood Park. Yes, that's it is. the thing. Yeah. And that's not really used. The, that's why I think I like Lockwood Park the best out of all of them because Lockwood Park is extremely usable both summer and winter. Right throughout the year. Yeah. Yes. It is yeah. not one of the park. It is the park in Racine that is not just walkable in the winter time. There's actual activity you can do yeah. there because that is where the sledding that, hill is. The sledding hill. There, right. Yeah. Exactly. And it's huge and it's massive. Oh, and it's actually 38 that. 38 acres. Yes. It's 38 acres. This, um, the park is. And, yeah. but then, but it is off of Graceland. So as you're coming down Ohio, you want to turn onto Graceland Boulevard, turn to your right or left. Obviously, if you're going north on Ohio, you're going to turn right. Uh -huh. If you're coming south on Ohio, you're going to turn left and go down Graceland quite a ways. And then you can turn into the park. Yeah. And they actually have tennis courts there. It's also one of the few places they have tennis courts. Yeah. They've actually um, got five tennis courts. Yes. Five tennis courts there. They've got uh, baseball, baseball for diamond, leagues. Now, yeah. that is for leagues yeah. uh, because leagues are uh -huh. usually booked up for the whole summer. But if it's in the evening and there's no leagues, then, you know, sure, you can sit yeah. there with your kids and bat a ball around it. Um, it's just if a league shows up to play. They've you got a get... basketball court. They have a basketball court. They have a lot of green space where you could play football or, I mean, sorry, yeah. you could play football or you could play soccer. Um, you could absolutely. And there's a pavilion there that you can rent, which is a very nice pavilion. Big parking lot. Yeah. absolutely massive parking lot if i was going to hold a party at a pavilion in the city of racine i would book lockwood park mm -hmm. and the main reason i would book lockwood park is because there's 
tons of parking there. There is tons of parking there. Yep. And you've got restrooms, picnic areas. Yep. Um, but there's also fishing there as well. Yeah, there's a little yeah, fishing it's pond. Nowhere near the rivers, so they've got a little fishing pond. There. Yeah, which I think was probably just a retention pond yeah. when they set everything up, but they do stock it, so it's a stock but fishing great pond. Great for teaching the kiddies if you want to teach mm -hmm. the kiddies how to fish. It's mm -hmm. a great place yeah so it's really yeah. got a lot and the nice thing is because it is a little fishing pond you don't have to worry about the kids getting into it really i mean you yeah. can just stand around it and and it is a great place to learn to fish whereas like island park with its fishing or um or the steelhead facility with the fishing over there they're a little bit more dangerous version like they're more teenagery adult fishing not really kids fishing. yeah and there's more serious fishermen there as well you there know, are they're yes. going after the trout and yes the salmon. absolutely um, but I'm just saying that the nice thing about Lockwood Park is that if you want to teach your kids how to fish, that's a great place yeah. to hold to hold a little event or something there. Yeah. So, yeah, that'd be great because they stock that every year. Um, I don't I think it's catch and release, though. I think they want you I'm to release. Sure. But I'm sure I there are people who haven't. It, so, so if you know, let us know. Yeah, let us know. But I'm pretty sure it is catch and release. They want them released back in. Um, and maybe they allow some catching you know, and, the stock or maybe there. they figure that every year some will be kept, even if they're not supposed to be. Um, and so, you know, but they stock it every year as well. The yeah. DNR does for the uh, for the city of Racine. So that's really cool that. So Lockwood Park is our number one park for the city of Racine. Now, don't get us wrong. This is not the only great park. There is also Riverbend Nature Center, which is great. There's like tons of other big parks. There's also the county park, Pritchard Park, along yeah. the south side of Ohio where you have the swimming, but that's a county park. That's not the city of Racine Park. And so, that's why it didn't make our list. And that's why it didn't make our list. But these are the top five parks um, in Racine as far as we're concerned. Yes. And so hopefully if you live in Racine or if you're visiting Racine, you can visit one of these parks and have a great day out with your family enjoying nature. Yeah. Because that's kind of what Wisconsin's about a lot. And especially Just this area. out there. Getting out there and having some fun. Enjoying nature. Yeah. So do us a favor. If you found any value in this content, do us a favor and click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And so you don't miss any of our future content. And then leave us a comment below. How do you feel about parks in a city? Do you think that's too many parks? Do you think there's a problem with the parks? Do you help with park cleanup? Give us a comment yeah. about the parks in Racine. What do you think? And drop a comment below. That really helps the algorithm to spread it to other people in Racine as well. I don't know if you know that, but when you make a comment, it actually means that other people in Racine will see it because it will. the algorithm will say, oh, this is about Racine and people are talking about this. Maybe we should show it to other people. Yeah. And of course, share this content. If you know somebody who doesn't know about the parks, maybe somebody who's new to Racine, Share this video with them so they can learn about the parks in Racine. We will also put a link to the parks department down in the comments, um, in the uh, description so that you can look click on it and, and look up any of the parks. Yeah, check out the parks that are near your house and check out the amenities. And like if you want to rent a yeah. pavilion, that detail is all in the parks department there as well. Yeah. So we'll put a link to that in the description. Because there's a great one downtown, but you look it up. Oh, I'm, yeah, you're gonna have to look it up for yourself. It's a great fun one for the kids. Yeah. So brilliant. One yeah, for the kids. absolutely. A lot of fun. That'll be a secret, though. You have to figure it out. Tell us if you figure out which one we're talking about. That's great yeah. for the kids and put it down below. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I think that's it. So thanks so guys, so much for joining us today. And we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.